Testing. One, two, three. Whoa. This is a unscripted apology to one of the users I talked about in one of my previous videos. Oh god, another apology video? Oh, and are apology videos some of the most overdone subjects of them all? Huh? You know, I'm starting to wonder this. Since your apology video is addressed to, you know, one person, how come you just can't write, Oh, I'm sorry, dear person? Well, if you did a simple apology letter, it wouldn't feel very accomplishing, now would it? That, my friend, is why there are apology views, just because they're more fulfilling. In a comment? This goes to Andrew the Soldier Hog. Andrew? You mean the guy that threatened to kill himself just because you, ZM, and a bunch of other people tried to criticize him? Nah, uh, I'm more like bashing upon Andrew the Soldier Hog than helping him out, just so you know. I come to you with more of a message of remorse than malice. Well, no shit! Okay. I got a question for Dark Kurotera. Since when were apology videos not that obvious? It's an apology video! About your previous video. The comments I left were harsh and unneeded. Let's look at those comments, shall we? I don't know, guy. It doesn't seem that tame to me. Harmless joking statements. Hmm. I'd like to see that every once in a while. Are you are you batshit crazy? <sighs> Whatever. So you say they're harsh when I can honestly say those are probably the tamest criticizing comments I've ever seen in my life. Apparently, Dark Curtair has never seen one single video by Tubers93. <laughs> and I apologize for that. I'm truly sorry. I'm so sorry for Chris. Fuck 8-Bit Fox and it's fucking apology. I'm skipping it. That has gotta be the biggest amount of bullcrap I've ever seen anyone put in a video. You know something? I don't feel quite satisfied by commentating on Dark Hero Terror's video. I'm gonna move on to Youngblood Fantasy 91's video, just so you know. Hey guys, Youngblood Fantasy 91 here with another commentary for you wonderful people. Well, it has been a little bit since my last commentary, and I have plenty to catch up on in terms of material, so excuse me if some of my material that I use is a bit outdated in terms of internet time. But anyways, let's return to the topic at hand. Today we will discuss about a dude that has been declared an internet lol's cow for the longest time. He has a head in the cloud Sonic fan who planned on making a Sonic movie and, just recently, had videotape footage of his fetish broadcasted everywhere. If you realize at this point that the guy that I'm referring to is Mr. Chipmunk Mobian, then congratulations, you win an Entenmann's Donut. I swear, this guy cannot discern between fetish and lifestyle. You know something, Youngblood? That Chipmunk guy ain't gonna listen to you, just so I know. Because there are major differences between the two. I'll listen in and I'll see what I have to say about this. I guess the only difference between the two is that the latter involves a really strong interest within reason and the former is more of an obsessive compulsive disorder symptom. I can't see no fetish round here, uh, can you? Does anyone else find it endearing that after nearly 40 years that Sesame Street is still a relevant TV show for kids of this generation? Mm, not really. <laughs> and you know what? I'm glad they're keeping up tradition. So what? Even if Sesame Street were to cancel, why would I give a shit? Hey! I mean, nice fetish you got there, mister. I mean, holy smokes. Okay, Mr. Freud, tell us about this guy. Ah, uh, yes, he's a rather interesting case. He seems to utilize the defense mechanism of regression to transfer impulses such as nostalgia, as well as other repressed memories into actions such as these. This can be classified as neurotic given his current mindset and actions. Thank you for stating the Captain Obvious. Thank you, Mr. Freud. You taught me well. Hey everybody, this is Mr. Chipmunk Mobian here to give you a brief update about um, some of the current events that have been transpiring in the past couple weeks. Um, I felt 
kind of compelled to make this video here. So you decide to make a video about a fetish that you have and disseminate it all over YouTube where all of your detractors reside and thus gives them more reasons to criticize you. I believe the venue you chose was a poor choice and the audience you trust in really is not in tune with your fetish. You could have just posted this in an adult baby forum where no one can see it or at least done this video without baby clothes. Young blood. Are you fucking serious? I mean, jeez, haven't we already talked about this whole fetishism thing? I mean, jeez, let it go already! Since, um, certain videos have leaked on the internet regarding my personal life... No, they weren't leaked. They were posted by you and were later mirrored by everyone. That's not a leakage, that's just you being careless about what you post online. I wouldn't exactly call it a leakage myself, but rather posting your shit online without really knowing what it is you're actually posting. Sincere about it, since for the past couple years or so I've been kind of in denial about the whole subject matter. First of all, you're still in denial because you are utilizing a defense mechanism known as regression. All in all, Young Blood Fantasy 91 repeats himself over and over and over again about shit that we've already talked about before. Anyway, see you later.